Does it feel like you're constantly trying to study for the FE exam, but you're never actually getting anywhere? Stick around and I'm going to share with you eight questions that will help you find out why this is happening to you. Now, these questions were created after talking to hundreds of students who have been studying for their FE exam and their experience made it clear that there is a problem stopping engineers from getting their EIT faster and excelling in their careers. And it all has to do with using the wrong resources. In last week's video, we discussed how resources can either help you pass your FE exam faster or keep you stuck in the FE journey for years. And this happened to a lot of our students. In fact, one of our students, Harry, he spent years studying for the FE exam. He also spent a lot of money on courses and he never felt ready to take his FE exam. But when he finally decided to take the FE, he failed. Now at that point or at that moment, Harry knew that he couldn't give up. And so, but he also knew that he needed to find resources that could help him pass his FE exam faster. And that's what he did. Now, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys questions that will help you determine if you are using resources that will help you pass your FE exam in 2022 so that you're not stuck in this journey for years. Here are the eight questions that you should ask yourself about the resources that you have. Do they cover the subjects that are on the specifications? Do they use the equations that are on the reference handbook? Is the content up to date with the new FE exam? Are you understanding the problems faster? Can you understand the step-by-step -step solutions to the problems? Are you covering and understanding the concepts? Are you getting most of your questions answered without spending a lot of time searching on Google and YouTube? And are you progressing? Are you moving forward? If you answered yes to five or more of these questions, then you are probably on the right track and just keep using the resources that you have. However, if you answered no to five or more of these questions, then I would recommend that you stop using those resources and find something else. Find something that will actually help you because right now you are wasting time and money. Don't stay in a path that is leading you to nowhere. A lot of people fall into that trap and that's what's stopping people from passing the FE exam faster. A lot of times we say in paths that are makes us feel comfortable and it's easy. But if you want to pass your FE exam in the next three or four months, you're going to have to be okay for being challenged. And you're going to have to make sure that you are studying the right material. You're studying what's going to be on your exam. That's how you're going to pass your FE exam faster and also excel in your career. Now, if you want to know how many hours and how many months you should spend studying for the FE exam, go ahead and comment below FE plan and I'll make a video on that next. Now, back to our friend Harry. So Harry, he actually enrolled in our courses, engineer accelerator courses, and he passed his FE exam last year. If you want to hear more about his story and how he did it, go ahead and check the link here. And also, if you guys want a copy of the eight questions that I shared with you here to make sure that you have the right resources, go ahead and click the link here as well. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,